Congregation Sharth Israel was founded in 1850 and came from the immigrants who came here for the gold rush, the 49ers. And the city grew so quickly that by 1850, there was enough of a Jewish community where people got together and they rented a hall and a hotel and they held a Passover Seder. And as the story goes, one guy sitting at the table nudges the next guy and he says, look at this crowd, we should start a synagogue. Built and completed in 1904, opened for operation in 1906, we have the Great Quake. The building rode out the quake and then survived the fire because we're on the west side of Van Ness and Van Ness was the fire break. The room is a particularly wonderful artifact of uh, turn of the century architecture, which sort of mashed up several different styles together to create something new and quite interesting. So you have a, what's essentially a Byzantine floor plan, uh, almost Rococo interior paint job, and then uh, roughly 1,100 light bulbs uh, that are almost reminiscent of a British arcade from the turn of the century. The acoustics are all designed for a pre-amplification era. So the, the idea is that you could stand on the stage and in an elocution voice project through the entire room quite easily. It's really lovely to have opportunities to host um, musical experiences that really take advantage of the acoustics of the room. And whether that's a single cellist or an entire opera, um, it, it gives the room um, a chance to breathe properly, uh, to really bring it to life, and to give people an opportunity to experience the room as it was originally conceived and designed.